What's up, guys, and welcome to episode 11 of my FC24 player career mode with Zaki Levchenko. First order of business we have the Champions League second match of the game's Real Sociedad on match day 4. Manchester City currently sitting first on the table with 9 points and a 6 goal difference, miles above the opposition. Haaland and Grealish remain Levchenko's front three partners as we go straight into the match with hopes of another win. A special atmosphere and a grand occasion. Who's going to emerge victorious? It's a hard question to answer. Later to the box. Joao Cancelo. Oh, a tremendous block. And a chance for the lead. Oh, a really crisp effort. Solve the problem for now, but let's see. Shot blocked, but still alive. Crossing opportunity. Able to get a body in the way. And that is that. The full-time whistle here. Sadly, annoyingly. The match ended in a goalless draw thanks to how absolutely dumb it is. Next up though, we have the match against Crystal Palace, but before we go into that, we get invited by Gareth Southgate for the international friendlies against Mexico and Belgium. Crystal Palace match ends in a fairly annoying loss with Ruben and Haaland getting the two goals for our team, which means still no goal for this episode. It's now time for the international matches. Mexico coming up first, we get the win, two goals to one. But still no goal for Levchenko. He did have a good match though, getting a 7.4 match rating, which means he earns himself training before the next match. Training went smoothly, getting an A as usual for the baller. So it's time for the match against Belgium. If you are enjoying the game so far, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and drop your comments. A lovely evening for football. My name's Guy Mowbray. I'm joined Go by Sue. A lot of coaches are adopting this nowadays, as it does give you those two. Hold on, Sue, they're in here. And there's the first goal of the match. Deadlock broken. It's played into the box. Great drama here. All square. And that's the final blast of a really fiercely contested game. Levchenko finally gets a goal, and it's his first international goal since his international debut goal. That's so crazy. Next up, we have Nottingham Forest at home, and we're just going to read a book by a club legend. It's our bloody favorite thing to do in the game. Titi win the match with a Haaland hat trick. Shocker. And I wish he would play as good as he does in the scenes in the actual matches we play. But, anyways, we have Benfica, Everton, and the big game, the Manchester Derby, left in this episode. In the Premier League, Martinelli leading the scorers list with 14 goals. I'm an Arsenal fan, so I'm not mad about that at all. Haaland is four goals behind, and we are joined fifth with Salah and three other players with seven goals. Benfica match is up next, and if we win this, I'm guessing we cement our place in the round of 16 if we haven't already, so it's a must win. Again, like, subscribe, share, and comment, and let's see how well we're doing it. It's upon impressing the wider world with a display of technical and tactical brilliance. Night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and ready to provide expert analysis alongside me is Stuart Robson. And a chance tonight for Manchester City to rubber stamp their presence in the Champions League knockout stages. It's Benfica facing Manchester City. Well, the referee spotted the infringement and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. And a goal almost bewitching in its beauty. Excellent technique. Giving it a try. He's blocked it. Incision with the pass from Kevin De Bruyne. Oh, good finish. Oh, just look at that. I don't mind saying that is out of this world. Well, you won't get tired of watching this. The improvisation, the skill and the end product. What a goal that is. Well, good effective pressure. A real struggle to contain him. So, glancing at the table, and I must say, when the teams came out of the various pots for the Champions League draw, this was the one that stood out straight away. And does well to keep it in play. Good-looking sequence. Good-looking cross. And that's a straightforward stop. 
Interested to get your take, Stuart. Well, they're doing what they can here, but they can't affect what's going on in the other game. I thought it was a good first 45 minutes from them. They just need to carry this through into the second half. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. Zaki trying to open up the defence. And the keeper more than equal to it. Trying to deliver it accurately. And, and making sure nothing untoward happened following the cross. A City free kick forthcoming. Fed over towards the back post. Touched onto the woodwork. It's Manchester City facing Everton. Well, this would help them get back into the game. And oh, it's in! We cannot declare this contest over. They still believe. This might be ideal for the counter. Oh, might be. And a goal it is for Manchester City. They are the team on course for victory. And the referee's whistle. That is the end of the story. Good run to win the free kick for De Bruyne. A goal and an assist and just 10 points zero rating we got in this match. So with that, we are pretty much through to the round of 16. Just one more match remaining and it's just going to be more in the park. Next up, we have Everton who is currently one point behind us, which makes this a must win, especially with the fact that Arsenal and Newcastle are just two and four points respectively ahead of us. I forgot to allocate Levchenko's blue points at the start, so I'm going to be doing that now. And I'm focusing on his passing increasing his vision, long pass and curve by a couple overalls. The match against Everton ended with a 2-0 win in our favour, but Levchenko doesn't score in the same yet again. It's getting pretty frustrating to be honest. After that win, we're still third, but Newcastle drew their match, which makes us just two points behind both them and Arsenal. Now we have the main match, the Manchester Derby. Let's see what City can do in this match. Manchester is alive with the prospect of a city-wide clash. These fans cannot wait any longer. Nothing will be held back here today. Kickoff is almost upon us. It is a rivalry that runs all the way back to 1881. And City and United are on a collision course today. Can't wait for this one, Stuart. Well, what a great environment to play football. Let's just hope we see two sides who want to win the game rather than being too defensive. This should be a very good game between two excellent teams. Here comes the corner. In a good position to clear it away. Can he do it from miles out? Bernardo Silva. Back positions. Bernardo Silva plays alongside Kevin De Bruyne in the centre of midfield. And handed the task of playing up front is Erling Haaland. Oh, did so well to deny well, Winners in the last game against Everton. How might this one go, Stuart? Well, their 2 0 win was an excellent all round display, particularly the way they won the ball back. And when you look at the two teams Inside today. Bruno Fernandes in central midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with. And there it is! United take the lead in the derby! Well, here we can see it again. And it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, and then it's a top class strike from Fernandes. His technique is absolutely spot on. Going well, but timely defending when it mattered. A City free kick forthcoming. And fired from the flank into the area. And that's what they needed, Manchester City. A goal to level matters here. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box. Just begging someone to get on the end of it. And it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is mate. That's a good-looking ball. Oh, a tremendous reflex action there from the keeper. Corner kick taken by Christian Eriksen. And Edison has somehow kept it out. Marcus Rashford. And return to Eriksen. Must take the lead here. And they have. You've got to say, it has been coming. Well, just look at the setup here. It's such a clever back heel. And the strike from Fernandez is absolutely perfect. Pace, power, and accuracy. What a player he is. High quality defending. Nice looking pass. And a bit short with the clearance. What a lovely strike! Lethal piece of finishing. Drilled home with true conviction. 
action. Tremendous goal. Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area. And then what a strike. The lovely half ball. And easily intercepted. Well, as you can see, they don't come much better than this. It's a goal of the highest quality. Wonderful piece of skill. The ball with Rodri. And so the referee blows the whistle. It is the end of the contest. And the three points go to Manchester City. The derby was tough, but Levchenko got a breeze in his first derby match, winning him in time for seven match rating. And oh my days, what a goal this was! Absolutely insane. Two out of three objectives completed, but no one really cares about that. We have nine crosses out of 35, but I'm still hoping we can get to that 35 or at least the number we need to get the contract. I'm not sure what that number is, but eventually we are going to have to get there because we've pretty much completed everything else. Next episode, though, we're going to be starting against Newcastle in a first versus second matchup, which might see our team claim that first place yet again. Arsenal and Spurs trail closely behind us, and it's generally a really tight title race with the top eight. 15 matches in and 1st and 8th are just 9 points apart. It's proving to be a very interesting season and I can't wait to see Lefchenko lift yet another trophy because of course, City is winning the shit. So I've come to the end of this video. This video is in this style because I actually recorded it normally but I figured out that my mic was off or that it was on but it wasn't working throughout the video so I mean I had to, I couldn't like delete the, the recording so I just had to figure something out and this is why I could figure out. So if you guys are liking my we might do the future videos like this. I know it's shorter, but I still feel like it's more straight to the points than the usual videos. So if you guys prefer this one, let me know in the comment section. If you don't, let me know in the comment section. So anyway, this is the end of the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and also drop a comment on what you think about Levchenko and the series in particular. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Peace. in my head i fear that the thoughts build up until i can't hear that my mind fills up into a creature and it haunts me somewhere much deeper anxiety filling up every space no privacy